Hey guys and welcome back to the third installment of our five part mini series and today we'll be looking at the loot from 25 hard clue caskets. I've already got the casket so we can skip out all the boring stuff at the start but if you want to stick around until the end I'll show you how I got the hard clues and maybe some methods that'll help you get them yourself. Anyways I'll meet you down at the bank now and we'll start opening them. Okay, so I'm about to start opening them now. Uh, what I'll do this time, which I didn't do last time, is actually show you the inventory and the price checker before I put them in the bank. I'll probably change and go to the Grand Exchange just to sell everything after each inventory so I can keep on top of it all. Uh, but as for now, I'm going to start opening now and we'll see what we get with our first inventory. Uh, that's a pretty solid start. Uh, I will definitely take that. Open another one. Nothing fancy there, so I'll re-roll. Yep, I'm, I'm liking this so far. And again, it's just rolling out the money. And there we go, we'll re-roll here. Yep, I'm, I'm loving this. Literally loving it. Okay, that's pretty shite, but we'll roll with it. 100k, nothing great. Oh, yeah, alright, I'll keep that. Right. Let's head over to the Grand Exchange to sell this, actually. Before that, I will actually show you in the price checker first. Uh, so 6 mil. Uh, we'll see how much it actually sells for. Uh, and I'll meet you guys at the Grand Exchange. And here we are after the first inventory. Uh, just under 6 mil, so not too far off what the original price checker was. So we're doing alright. I'm just going to carry on opening these now. I'm seriously hoping for a die. Um, but I will take literally any fortunate component I get. Uh, I'm gonna re-roll that. Some of you will hate me, but as you'll see, it was definitely worth it. Oh, there we go, our record so far. Let's take a little screenshot of that as well. Nice, opening. More, yes. I'm, ah, oh, so glad I did this. Right, definitely re-rolling that. Can't speak anymore. Yeah, these re-rolls are seriously paying off. Holy fucking shit. What the fuck? <laughs> Finally get something nice. Uh, I'm going to stop recording there whilst I collect my thoughts. Uh, and stop having a nerdgasm. Alright, so I've finally had a chance to calm down uh, and what I'm gonna do at the end of this is I'm gonna price check the average loot without including the third age amulet simply because I mean getting an item like that is so rare that you can't expect something like that. I mean of course some of you will be lucky enough to actually get that maybe more than once uh, but for the sake of the video I won't include it but then I'll show you how much I sell it for at the end. I imagine the items crashing loads simply because it's been a new update, loads of people getting new rewards, etc. Uh, so the market isn't too good for that item kind of right now. But anyway, here we are after the second load of chests opened up, and we're still only halfway. Uh, so we've been, you know, doing really well. I mean, you can see now 13 mil, we opened 13 chests, average, you know, 1 mil per chest. So uh, let's keep going, and I hope to God for something more. I'm going to re-roll straight away, because that was awful. I mean can't be rolled into something great every single time, let's just add that to the money pouch, there we go, keep going, 710k, I'll take that, no masters so far, something I've noticed, two magic combat, and what is that, okay, great, uh, I'll take that as well, I mean, can't complain with one mil, can we, i got to take that as well, I want to use my rerolls, you know, um, right, I'll sell this stuff, see where we're at again, be right back. And here we are, after another inventory, up to 17.7 mil. Uh, we're still going strong, so I'm going to open the last few. Maybe we'll finish it all in this inventory, maybe not. Let's re-roll that. Uh, I'm going to waste a re-roll again. 146k, yeah. Oh, finally a master clue. And uh, that's perfect, that's exactly what I need right now. Uh, junk there. More junk there. Uh, I'll take that. What is that? Okay, great. Oh, I'll take it. Got rerolls to use. Finally, I get to use them here. And that was worth it. This is what I like. Perfectly timed rerolls. I'll tell you what, I'll just sell this stuff quickly. Then open the last casket. And then I'll price check this inventory. And let's just try and open this last one now. And here we are. And the last reroll will give us. Another combo. Okay, so something I forgot to do was actually show the price check per inventory, so let's do that now so you get an idea. So this is 
about seven or eight uh, caskets opened. Uh, something you might expect. I mean, it's, it's pretty average loot, so I think this is what you could accurately expect. Anyway, I'll sell this now and uh, see what we've got left over. Okay, so here we are at the end of the fun part. This is what we received in total from the 25 hard clue caskets, and this averaged out to be 859k per casket. And the thing I've noticed is that between the previous two tiers, so the easy and the mediums, they seem to double in value. So we got about 200k for easies per casket, then we got the 400k uh, and a little bit excess for the mediums, and now we're here on 859k. However, my prediction is these will actually be worth more than the elites, because my elite luck in the past has been pretty dire. So I'm expecting it to pretty much go downhill from here. Uh, obviously this is not including the third age amulet, which I'm going to go check the forums now, see if I can get a decent price for it, and then I'll let you know what I sell it for. So here we are after selling the amulet for, I mean, okay, I undercut it by absolutely miles, but we got 231 mil for it, which is honestly more than I was actually expecting. Uh, I was, I, you know, I was expecting maybe 150 mil for it, but then again, here we are, so I am definitely happy with that. Anyway, for those of you curious, I'll now show you how I got the hard clue scrolls. Uh, and just a little disclaimer, it is not the most efficient way of getting them, but it is a decent way of getting them, and you get elites at the same time. Some of you are already expecting it. I'll jump over there right now and show you what's going on. Alright, so here I am. This is the method I was using, which is a pretty common one. I've seen this become a lot more busy in recent days with the new update. Uh, it's essentially just thieving these, um, and there's honestly no major method to it, just pickpocket AFK a little bit. Uh, however, I would recommend using the full exoskeleton outfit and either a completionist cape if you have it, and failing that, uh, the highest tier of RD cloak that you do have. Uh, there are better methods for hard clues. Uh, I've heard that uh, Abyssal Demons have a very high drop rate if you fancy going for those. Uh, however, these drop elites at the same time at, at a decent rate. Uh, I've been using this method to get both clues. Um, but I've gotten uh, one here maybe, well, one every five minutes. Perhaps a little bit more common than that. Uh, I, I mean, it's very RNG based, of course, but uh, this is how I was doing it. Uh, anyways, I'm going to go head to the outro now. And here we are at the end of the episode. I thought I should just share a few more things with you. Uh, I only got two master clues whilst doing the 25 hard casket, which is a little bit of a contrast to the three I got during the medium ones. As for the time taken to complete these, it definitely took longer than the mediums, however it's far more bearable to do. I actually quite enjoy these, and therefore I'm dreading elites because they're notoriously boring. However, uh, this is what you could expect in maybe five to six hours of your time. I think the longest part is actually getting the clues themselves. Doing them really doesn't take that long. It depends how much you commit yourself. Anyway, I'd like to thank you guys for watching. If you have any feedback, please drop it in the comments below. You can send me a message and game anything. I would just appreciate that. Feel free to leave a like on the video. Definitely subscribe because I'll be releasing episode 4 containing 25 elite caskets very, very soon. Cheers, guys.